Hey guys, Andy Train here, and today I wanted to do a little bit of a video response to Wingman 115's video, which was a small survival kit that he keeps inside of a knife pouch. And the knife that he used is the knife that I designed, the Tahoma Field Knife. And I kind of wanted to go over the reasoning why I chose the ballistic nylon sheath and what I personally carry on the inside of it. So you might see some similarities, some differences, but pretty much um, the main points are going to be covered. Well, right now I'm carrying my knife on the left side of my body because on the right side I have a pistol. So inside this pocket, the first thing that I have is a small little uh, dangling piece of 550 cord. And the reason why I have it dangling out is because attached to it, if I really need to, um, are some essentials. Uh, the first being a signal whistle, and this is what comes with pretty much any of their knives. Um, they work great, I think. A, uh, a P38 can opener. This is a really small, compact, easy way to open up cans without having to use a blade and potentially dulling your edge. And then they have the Topps Knife Fire Starter, which has a ferrocium rod and then two magnesium rods. So if it's in a wet condition, go ahead and shave a pile of that and then ignite it with the ferrocium rod and then you have fire. Um, and this is not my main fire rod. You can see it's not used. The fire steel that I have on my, in my pocket or you know in my backpack are the ones that I use most. The next thing I have is the, uh, the Easy Lap 510 sharpener. And this is one of my favorite sharpeners for sure. I have a video which I'll show you guys and have a link to that in the description and also in the annotations. But um, this one has a, a 400 grit diamond side for you know damaged blades. You have a little nick, a small fat spot, something that you really need to uh, even out. Go ahead and, and use a 400 side which will cut really fast and cleanly. And then smooth everything out with the 1200 grit. And so this is the uh, the sharpener that I use 95% of the time. The other 5%, you know, I, I'll have a ceramic with me so that I can really get a mirror polish on a blade. That way I have the least amount of friction and uh, it'll last longer and then just cut a lot cleaner. And then I have a small length of 550 cord. And what I use this, I have a small knot at the end, but uh, this is enough cordage for me to lash my knife to the end of a stick to make a spear. And I don't suggest doing that, you know, for hunting unless it's a really last ditch resort and you really need something to help you out. But pretty much uh, the other purpose for that is because I am short, I don't have a very high reach. So if I need to get um, some, some fruit out of a tree, I can pretty much have that as an extension of my body, cut down apples, oranges, what have you. Um, so that's really important, especially for someone of short stature. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, take care out there. Bye. So here's my water source, and uh, it's barely above freezing right now. Mmm, good water.